This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bayt Stadium with its tent light structure. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Belgium versus Canada. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Jan Vertonghen starts with Toby Alderweireld in central defence. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And they kick off here. Tielemans and the ball with Hutchinson well I think with Belgium it's a question of whether or not they can fulfill their potential and quite frankly Stuart we've been asking that question of them for quite some time now haven't we yes we have but I think they're probably past their best some of their key players are now aging but they are a good team, they've got some excellent players, and with Canada, Croatia and Morocco in their group, I still think they'll go through. This looks threatening, well it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. Aidan Azar, here's Tielemans, Mini eight. Azar. Now with De Bruyne. Determined defending. Tielemans. Carrasco now. Vertonghen. Van Aken. And a significant block following that cross. A really intense pressure applied. And just over the bar, really good effort. Alderweireld 
And it's with Denier. Carrasco. De Bruyne now. Azar. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. On the rail. Right Carrasco now. Lukaku. Now Alderweire. Carrasco. De Bruyne. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box, struggling to get it away. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Well, over the last 15 minutes, Belgium have really started to take control and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jonathan Osorio. Now Minier. Tielemans. Carrasco. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Meunier, and thwarted there following the cross. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And over it comes. Not away completely. Carrasco. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. De Bruyne might be able to produce from this position going well played into the centre but it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper Azar and giving it away. Atiba Hutchinson. And space to exploit, maybe. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Surely! And the keeper's hand does the trick. Van Aken. Now Minier. Lukaku. And he takes on the shot. Oh, off the top of the crossbar! Well, that's inches away from being the perfect finish, isn't it, Derek? in terms of added time a minimum of one minute mini eight that is that for the first half here well when Romelu Lukaku is on he can be well nigh unstoppable but off his game today Stuart well it's not been a great performance from him today but can he just find that spark we know he's a good player but not on today's performance he just hasn't looked a threat
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Carrasco. De Bruyne now. Aidan Azar. Read it well. Minier. From one side of the pitch to the other. Tielemans. Meunier. Well, successfully cut out. And it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Tejon Buchanan. And threading it forward. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Well, there it is, as expected. Belgium have controlled more of the ball so far, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. It's something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. Yes, it's a matter of trying to break them down. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Who can they pick out? And the problem not completely solved. Superbly read and executed. Could be. And foiled by the post. And problem solved for now. Tielemans and it's with Denier De Bruyne well they must exercise caution standing off as they are Meunier well a classic example of how to intercept Eustachio. Carrasco. And space to cross it. And into the last 20 minutes. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Clearance wasn't decisive. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. Foul there, free kick awarded. Carrasco. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Tejon Buchanan. Osorio has it. Well, the attack looks promising. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Still possibilities. Well, no damage done. Lukaku. Carrasco. Azar on the ball. On the attack, as there to be late excitement. Meunier. Well, 
And a decent idea, but a difficult pass to execute. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up, and both will come on here. Possession one. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. Jonathan David. Buchanan. And they get the ball once more. Hazard. And we've entered the final five minutes. Torgan Azar. Possession lost. Buchanan. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And time for the change now. Alfonso Davies entering the match. Number 22, Richie Laurier. Larea. It looks promising. He's protecting it effectively. Steven Eustachio. long last well if he scores there that would surely have been the winner and if you're wondering about added time two minutes it'll be mini eight and a timely intervention And with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have their moments over the course of the 90 minutes, but it finishes in a stalemate. Stuart, what did you make of it all? Well, yes, Derek, probably not the best game. I don't think either team played to their full potential. The final ball was often lacking, and the chances they did create, they were unable to take advantage of. A bit disappointing, really, as I was expecting more.